Michael here with a bottle of bubbly. And all the news from Tinseltown. And was I invited to some amazing parties in LA? No, but I crashed a few. Let me tell you girls, over there LA doesn't stand for low alcohol, it stands for legless actors. <laughs> Speaking of legless people, I ran into that little twerp who rings the bell in Fantasy Island. Talk about Tidley, he was under a chair chatting up a Toby jug. <laughs> But I'm not here to gossip, girls, because today I... Oh, listen, listen, listen. Remember Don Lane? Now he went back to the States to make the big time. Well, I met him outside Caesar's Palace and he asked me for dinner. I said, no, I'm only giving you enough for a cup of coffee. <laughs> anyway, enough gossip, girls, because... Oh, girls, you won't believe this, but guess who's tipped for an Oscar? Bo Derek. They're giving her the Oscar for outstanding contribution to the film industry because she hasn't made a movie for two years. <laughs> They say she's a 10, but 10 out of what? But I'm not here to be catty girls because today I'm presenting a movie called Scott of the Antarctic, a real blockbuster with ice and snow and blizzards and sleet and woolly socks and sleds and more dogs than you'd see in a month of prisoner. <laughs> This film's a first, girls, because it only arrived in the country this week. It was made in 1948. But that's Australia Post for you. <laughs> Cheers, girls. Bye. <laughs>